a total, total culture shock. Sabi ng asawa niya, you're all crazy. <laughs> Hello my dear friend! Welcome back to my channel! Andito na naman ako to talk about adjustment. What I didn't expect when I came here in South Africa. It's like a really a total, total culture shock. You know, nabigla ako nung pumunta na ako dito sa South Africa. You know, more on the observation. And this time, it's more on the food or eating because you know I like eating. <laughs> when I came here, you know, uh, obviously, siempre bagong family, uh, new family. I have to adjust in everything, and I always saying, we Filipinos love to eat, and uh, yeah, you know, my husband always say. He had an impression that Filipinos eat once a day, and that's the whole day. <laughs> Alam mo naman sa atin, I am used of eating three times a day, plus dalawang merienda. O oh, ba? So para magkapon na, <laughs> iba pa yung may midnight snack pag nagising ka na. In here, when I came here, their main meal is breakfast and supper. During lunch, it's not necessary for them to prepare food. Whatever you see in the ref, kung gutom ka, you just go and eat. So, as long as they had breakfast and supper. And the food is being dished up. Meaning, uh, yung nagluto na, nilagay na sa plate mo. So, that's all you can eat. <laughs> kung gutom ka pa, huwag na. <laughs> Tama na yun sa plate mo. Or, if you don't want to the food, well, you can't really do anything. Kailangan mong ubusin because uh, in here, they were trained that you have to finish what's in your plate. When they are eating here, there is no uh, one place for the whole family to eat. You know, like in Philippines, we have the dining table and everybody must be there. Dito, no, someone is eating in her room. Meron naman sa sala, meron sa kusina. Ayun, kung saan-saan, they don't eat together at once. Uh, you know, I tried to cook our own uh, food here, but unfortunately, maraming wala. You know, like the vegetables, you know, the, you know, the vegetable from the province. Wala rito eh. Makakaluto na ako ng gulay siguro dito. Uh, chop suey and pakbet. But sometimes there is no um, bitugod or okra. You know those things. Karamihan dito, uh, they mostly eat uh, meat. And you know what? Um, every every weekend, we're having a, a braille, a barbecue. Like you know, some friends will invite us over and or ka, sometimes kami ang mag, uh, mag invite Always meet yan. Meet, 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 meet. Yan. So, kaya nanaba ako ng ganito because we always have meat. We have, they have the thing here that they call bring and bribe. You know, um, Every weekend, it's either bring in rice like a, a potluck, you know. If they say rice, mostly uh, what you're gonna do there is you barbecue. So you have to bring your meat or bring whatever you wanna eat, and then bring it there, and then you know barbecue, socialize, and whatever leftovers you have the right to bring it back. I mean, bring it home. Kasi sa you yun eh, sa you yun. Uh, it's okay when you go on a park, on, on a, in a park, kasi madalas dito they want to do their bride in a park. It's very okay to do that, you know, kasi kanino mo naman iiwan yung leftover mo, di ba? Pero pag pupunta ka sa bahay, parang nakakahiya, but they have all the right to do that, you know? 
sa kanila yun eh. So, iuwi nila. The Christmas party. This is what uh, I missed in Philippines, you know. Uh, Ibang-iba yung, yung, yung ating Christmas or New Year sa Pilipinas. Kasi, you see, September pa lang, you can hear, you know, uh, Christmas songs. You can already see decorations. Dito, wala. It's, it's very dry, very dry. Uh, when I was still working, uh, the company, they, uh, they set a Christmas party. <laughs> Christmas party. So, I got a little excited. Oh, okay. Christmas party. And then when I went, you know what we did? We just eat dinner. Tapos meron sila yung parang uh, popping thing. Yun lang. Yun lang Christmas party sa kanila. <laughs> Pambira. Isn't it Christmas party in Philippines? Is you have the program, we have the singing, dancing, games, and everything. Dito, Christmas party na ang tawag doon. Kumain lang. <laughs> so, they should call it Christmas dinner party. Something like that. That's why I felt so, you know, yung... I miss uh, Christmas in Philippines. No caroling here. They don't really... Uh, and also, Mari's family, they don't observe the December... Uh, you know, yung December 25 really. Nagulat nga sila sa akin no? December 25. I mean... Besperas, December 24, nagluluto ako, tapos gisingin ko sila ating gabi para lang kumain, tapos matutulog ulit. <laughs> we had, uh, we attended one time, uh, New Year, <laughs> New Year to one of the friends, nakaasawa rin ng puti. It's a New Year, o di ba may Noche Buena? So, uh, we had this food, everything is prepared. So, yung iba, tulog na, no? Kasi, syempre, mag-alas 12 na. So, tayo mga Pinoy naman, gising, ayan, gising, gising. Pagpatak ng alas 12, o oh, dayan, party, party, and then we eat. Tapos, after eating, konting pahinga, tulog, di ba? <laughs> Sabi ng asawa niya, you're all crazy. <laughs> Kasi raw, gigising, tapos kakain lang, tapos matutulog ulit, oh, di ba? <laughs> You know, the fast food here, they got McDo, they got uh, KFC, Wimpy. Sa McDo, they don't know spaghetti. Walang gumagawa ng spaghetti rito like Jollibee, you know. And kadalasan, which I'm very tired, pizza, burger. And you know what's the favorite uh, fast food here? I mean, yung, ka ka yung gustong gusto nilang kainin. It's a fried chicken. Or chicken. Every Friday yan. Naku, makita mo na yung mga fast food with the, like KFC, yung mga nagtitinda ng manok. Pila na yan. You know, when I just came here, uh, I was visited by uh, a Filipina also. Ah. She came and invited me to have uh, a coffee somewhere. Kasi she wants to know me, di ba? She wants to know me. So, I went. We met to a certain place. And then, she ordered a coffee. So, ako naman si, ano, alam mo naman tayo sa Pilipinas, ikaw ang in-invite eh. So, I was wondering now, she's having her coffee, and I didn't have mine. Yun pala, she, she should have told me na order your drink. Kasi yun palang style nila dito. If you order, obviously for you, so you have to pay. Ikaw, anong gusto mo? Mag-order ka, bayaran mo. Ganon. <laughs> Ito pa, one more example. They had this, uh, I, I know someone, I know someone. They went to, they were invited, you know. Magkasawa pa sila. They were invited to have a dinner outside. So this is what happened. So they went. So, pagkadating sa restaurant, yan, order yan, order dito, order doon, yan, sige. Mabamuhan pa ng in-order, di ba? <laughs> Nung bayaran na ka mo, <laughs> babayaran pala nila kasi yung nag-invite pala, yung sistema dito, that's the system here. If you were invited, kahit pa-invited ka, 
You have to pay what you eat. Hindi tulad sa atin kung sino yung nag-invite siya ang taya. Dito, hindi. I-invite ka nga. Binayaran lang niya yung pagkain niya. <laughs> diba? Ang sakit sa bulsa nun. Akala mo libre. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now. That's all that I can share regarding uh, food or eating. Thank you for watching. See you in my next vlog. Bye-bye.